In this video, we are explaining all the good resources in Isle of Sipta that you need to farm them efficiently. In what spot you can farm them efficiently. And uh, I'm gonna show you all the good spots in Isle of Sipta. So if, if you want to know all this spot, make sure you be with us till the end of the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Conan Exile. In this video, I bring the finally the most efficient resources in uh, Isle of Sipto that where you need to farm them efficiently and where you can farm them a lot. So let's get to it. At the start, we're gonna start from a star metal. You're gonna farm the star metal here at the middle. There is no other spot you can farm the star metal in the middle. So as we can see here, we are here in the middle of the map. This is how it looks. You have uh, a lot of skeletons. You have also brimstone, black eyes, iron, everything in the middle. As you can see, you have also star metal at the middle. It's uh, some uh, rocks like this. So they just uh, fall in the middle that you can farm them in the middle by uh, you can use the arrows, explosive arrow, or you can use the bombs. So I'm gonna show you the two, two bows method, you're gonna farm them pretty fast. So I have one explosive jar here. You can farm them with jar, but I don't recommend this because this is gonna be expensive to farm with the jars. But uh, if you don't have arrows, you can always do it with the jars or you can do it with arrow because one bomb is 10 arrows. So with one bomb, you can farm 10 of this star metal. So keep that in mind. Okay, we are here with the next item, brimstone. So where you can farm brimstone on this map? So as you can see, I'm showing uh, three side uh, or four side of the map. We have brimstone on the middle, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and one side in the bottom that you can farm a lot of brimstone efficiently. Of course, there is much more uh, locations that you can farm two, three, or couple nodes of brimstone, but I'm not showing that because it's not worse. I'm just showing the most efficient spot okay we're gonna jump on the first location uh, in the middle so in the middle as we can see we have a lot of brimstone uh, located here so if you run around in the middle you're gonna farm a lot of brimstone so this was the first location for brimstone we're gonna jump to the next one that we show it's a dead river on the top left side of the map it's like a river around the river you have this uh, brimstone as you can see you can start from a start of the river and go to the end and farm a lot of uh, brimstone it's gonna start from here this uh, river go all the way to the top all this river you're gonna farm a lot of brimstone so we're gonna jump to the next location so as you can see here it's also uh, it's like a desert you have a a lot of brimstone here so be careful there is also a scorpion boss here make sure you don't die to this scorpion boss last spot we mentioned i'm gonna show you it's on the bottom side of the map the new side of the map so we are here with the last location for brimstone as you can see it's the bottom side of the map in the black area you can farm uh, brimstone a lot and black eyes in this location it's uh, have a lot of bosses here so make sure you don't die to them it's a strong location you need a strong troll with you so be careful of that so as we can see we have a lot of brimstone here we're gonna start from this corner you have you can see it's in the corners everywhere brimstone you have also here look you have also black eyes you go all the way around you have brimstone so these locations all the black areas all the black areas here have brimstone this black area also and this black area but be careful these black areas have very strong animals, especially here where I located. Uh, these dogs deal massive damage. So make sure you, when you come here to farm brimstone, make sure you have a troll with you. So they're gonna protect you from these dogs. So we are with the next item, black eyes. It's very important black eyes and it's very hard to farm in this map, Isle of Sipto, because it's very important people need black eyes to build their bases. So. The first location is in the middle. 
the black guys in the middle you're gonna find uh, a lot of black guys in the middle beside all those uh, other items and resources i told you so make sure always come to the middle and farm one round black guys around and you're gonna get quite a lot of black guys so next location is again in the bottom side of the map that we show for brimstone again it have also a lot of black eyes you can find black eyes all over this uh, black area but again i'm telling you be, be careful that you're not gonna die to these creatures and have a strong trawler so we are here with the next spot here located on the bottom side of the map it's called the pools in the pools it have very special thing in these pools you're gonna have some statues putting in these pools and you're gonna spawn some random creatures and bosses and all of them drop you brimstone black ice and diamond blood and raw ash like a lot quite a lot so this is gonna be very helpful to get a lot of also black ice if you got all those statues on you and the last location i'm gonna explain for the black ice is around the vault so around the dungeons and vaults you always gonna have a star metal and some other resources that you can farm it's actually quite a lot so you can farm them in every world you're going to farm your elderium and stuff you can farm a lot of black guys around it so make sure you don't forget there is all over the map uh, dungeons so it's not only this one you can farm them in around the other dungeons on all over the map also okay we are here with now gold and silver the most important resources in isle of sipta that I'm gonna explain one side on the right, one side on the left so you are good to farm them in all over the map you go to the closest spot and farm your gold and silver so first I'm gonna uh, show the top right side in this location so when you come in this location you're gonna have a lot of gold and silver like here I'm gonna show you it start from here you're gonna see all this uh, silver here and when you go a little bit in front you're gonna find also a lot of gold located on the ground it's also here so it's connected these two you have also silver and gold here so another a small tip for you guys you can you only don't need to farm these uh, big rocks for gold there is also this uh, small rocks you need to go on first person and you just hit on the ground and you get a lot of gold so each hit gives you 20 gold so like look this this is all gold on the ground as you can see i'm getting 20 gold per hit so don't forget you are not picking this by hand you are picking this by a pick so remember this and do not forget about this so next location for gold it exactly next to this spot located here like you can uh, move it from here to here and farm on top of this mountain a lot of gold here a lot of this small rock on the ground a lot of gold also located here and it's quite a lot of gold in this map gold and silver is much more easier than exile land to farm so uh, you're gonna have a lot of alchemical base on this map for sure so we're gonna jump out to the next location for gold and silver so here we have a mega spot for gold on the top left side of the map so when you come here you can see there is a lot of gold here on the ground you also have these small rocks all over the mountain a lot of gold you can farm here in this location located here so do not forget this spot it's very good we're gonna jump on the next location it's here on this river close to the dungeon uh, you're gonna have also silver here look there is uh, located a lot of silver on here and you're gonna come around and you're gonna find more you also have brimstone and other resources because you are next to the dungeon you have silver here and these rocks on the ground are also silver so make sure you also hit the rocks on the ground so the last location for the gold and silver located almost in the middle of the map here as you can see in front of me there is a lot of silver so in the middle uh, i mark this spot because it's so efficient it's close to everyone it have a lot of gold and silver also now we're gonna jump into it and see how much we have in this location so as we can see the silver is starting from here all this also a small silver on the ground and when you run all over to the next mountain here you're gonna also find some gold so this is but have gold and silver together so make sure you also hit the small nodes on the ground for the gold and silver 
So we are here with the next item, aloe. It's very important to have aloe because it's for healing and potion. Everyone needs for PvP aloe. You're gonna find. Uh, I show two sides of the map. One here, around here, and one on the left side. So and also one on the bottom. So I'm gonna show this three spot, and you're gonna see the most efficient spot to farm aloe. So the first spot located here around this dungeon as you can see there is a lot of aloe located here on this dungeon so make sure you get all of this around this dungeon so i'm gonna show you guys you're gonna come here on this uh, ground uh, dungeon you're gonna farm all this aloe and there is also aloe on this small lake uh, next to the ground one you can see there is a lot of aloe around the water and around this special lake this lake on the left side you're gonna find a lot of aloe here so you're gonna start your track from here on this river and go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna find a lot of aloe around this spot just uh, just by running down on the on this uh, river and you're gonna farm a lot of aloe next to this river just uh, keep tracking the river and aloe grow always next to the river don't forget that and we have a very big spot on the right side of the map close uh, to this this river you can see on the right you're gonna just follow the river and you're gonna find a lot of aloe just follow the river and you're gonna find a lot of aloe to farm around this river on the right side of the map so only in this location around this river we're gonna find a lot of aloe and we're gonna jump on the bottom side of the map if you want to know like if you're leaving on the bottom side and you need a spot next to your base you're gonna come here in the middle around this uh, this water you're gonna find some aloe it's not so much but it can be helpful for you to make some healing so you don't need to go all the way to the top right or top left of the map to farm aloe so you're gonna have a lot of aloe in this location to farm so we are here with the next item ikur so how to farm ikur in this map quite a lot and efficient so i have i marked two dungeons that you can farm massive or a crazy amount of ikur you can also farm in another dungeon by farming the mobs then drop they drop you a little trophy you can put that in a floyd press and get a lot of ikur but these two spider dungeon i'm marking on the map have the most equal why i mark these dungeons for farming equal is because this is spider you're gonna farm them with the pick or, or pickaxe and they're gonna drop you quite a lot of equal and they also dropping some uh, small trophies that you're gonna get equal from them if you put them in fluid press so if you kill these spiders here they're gonna if you farm them they're gonna drop you equal and this little item called this daemon spider chunk so if you put this uh, daemon spider chunk on a floyd press it's gonna gives you five equal per one of these so you're getting equal and you're getting this stuff for the equal so if you join just uh, to the spider uh, dungeon you're gonna have a lot of spider to kill so make sure you farm all of those spiders for the equal in this location you're also gonna have a lot of spiders around and this dungeon inside you're gonna farm a lot of ikur also in this location so the next item is daemon blood where you farm daemon blood daemon blood is very important also for raiding because you need daemon blood to make dragon powder i show it's not a specific locations to farm daemon blood because daemon blood is something that you're gonna get from any world bosses any mini bosses any uh, undead uh, creature so you just need to farm something that is undead or it's a boss or mini boss i'm gonna give you some idea or location uh, the rest is depend on you which spot you're gonna go and kill the stuff here in this location on around this redwoods you have some yetis to kill uh, on the middle of course in the maelstrom you're gonna kill uh, those um, creatures and they drop you also demon blood you're gonna have on the left side on this uh, dead uh, dead city you got you have a lot of bosses and creatures to kill all of those giving you demon blood and you have also in the black area and the pools they give you a lot of demon blood so it's all depend on you 
where you gonna farm this demon blood so i give you the, all the idea that where is the demon blood and when you can where you can farm them so here if you farm this black yeti they drop you a lot of hide and demon blood so this is quite a lot of uh, good uh, spots to farm demon blood and they are very easy to farm so we are here with the next item iron where to farm a lot of iron iron it's most likely in the middle it's not very uh, like efficient spot around the middle like uh, you can go farm a lot of iron but in the middle there is a lot of iron and in the south i also farm some good spots around the mountains that have a lot of iron there is also another location around the map that have a little nodes and stuff but i'm not gonna show them because it's not efficient so in the middle you can see there is a lot of iron located around the middle so if you come to the middle you're gonna farm the most amount of iron in the map so make sure you don't miss the middle by farming all this iron around of around here i'm gonna jump to the next spot i find iron a lot of iron in the bottom so i'm gonna uh, start from here located in these mountains next to the pools you have iron on the ground you have iron here on the mountain next to this boss you have iron on top a lot of iron here so all over this mountain when you move you have iron so make sure you don't miss any single iron here and you're just gonna run around and farm a lot of iron it's all over these mountains located so you can see there is iron still here all over this location so this spot is very good for farming iron also in the bottom okay we are here with the next item elderium elderium is the most important item in uh, isle of sipta i don't know if i need to show you the location you need to farm the elderium it's in all the walls and dungeon all over the maps uh, i'm gonna show you one dungeon it's the dungeons are these blue uh, big gates that you're gonna go inside and farm elderium inside by killing the end boss and get a lot of elderium okay next item is crystal where to farm crystal crystal is very hard to farm in this map actually it's a little bit annoying to farm so i'm gonna show you uh, there is some spots in the middle around these shrines uh, the three shrines you are summoning the surge around most of the vaults around the map you're gonna farm crystal so i'm gonna show you these spots we're gonna jump in the middle and show you how to farm crystal so when you come to the middle the this uh, small uh, rocks in the middle as you can see these uh, black rocks all over the map it's like dropped on the ground is crystal you can farm them by pick so make sure you are not farming them with hand so all you need to do is uh, go first person uh, when you hit you crouch like you press c and sit so all you need to do is do like this you sit hit sit hit so as you can see i got already this amount of crystal by hitting some small nodes so we jumping to the next uh, crystal spot i'm gonna show you one of these shrines that you summoning the surge there is uh, the other two you can also farm so this shrine you can see there is a lot of crystal located look how much crystal you have here so you just need to go again first person and hit and crouch so all you need to do is this that's why i saying crystal farming is very annoying in this map because you need to crouch you also have a uh, in the goblin dungeon where you farm gremlin sigil and the other goblin dungeon on top right of the map there is also crystal that this crystal you don't need to crouch because it's a little bigger than those uh, little crystal on the ground but this is not like very efficient this crystal look you hit them once and they are like farmed but there is also this uh, small crystal nodes on the ground you can farm them by hitting them and also i explained you can find crystal around the the dungeons you're gonna farm look there is a lot of these uh, rocks around this dungeon also so you go first person and hit them all and farm um, tons of uh, crystal around the dungeons also so we are here with the next item height where to farm a lot of height in isle of sipta so as you can see in the middle of the map there is a lot of these buffaloes rhinos and animals located here on the like around the middle on top you have elephants on the bottom you have like go a circle around the middle and you're gonna farm tons of tons of height and get a lot of tar for your bombs 
so when you farm all these animals in the middle you're gonna get a lot of height but i also uh, gonna give uh, show you some tricks that you can farm a lot of height without having a troll on you so all you need to do is to come to one of these shrines uh, that you farm that you summon a surge and all you need to do is open a surge from center and this surge bring you height to you so if you want all the heights come to you and you don't want to move and run around in the middle risky to get killed and stuff do this trick so all you need to summon height for yourself is 10 hardened steel so when you get 10 hardened steel you just gonna go open the center one so you just need to click on the center and you craft the center one so so when you activate the center one you don't need any power you don't need anything just 10 hardened still you summon the center search and as you can see the middle is summoning the beautiful lovely search search is coming to you so all you need to do is a stop like a start here bring like 200 hardened still with you farm with your friends all these three search that they dropping animals from the sky it's drop you the best animal you need to farm for the hide it's hyenas hyenas are the best for farming for the hide they gives you a lot of hide they are easy to farm and each hyena pelt is one tar so it's like not like human human height three human height gives you one tar so as you can see they are dropping look how many hyenas they have werewolf and there is hyenas they are very easy to kill they are one shot and there is many rounds when you kill them and clear them they just keep falling and when it's finished you're gonna summon another search and farm tons of tons of tons of hide here and it's broken way so i wish you guys enjoyed the most efficient resources on isle of sipta if i miss an important item make sure you put down in the below in the comments that what if what i missed and where is the location so i also get noticed and i know the location that you guys uh, telling me maybe it's some very good location that i'm missing thank you guys for watching i hope i would help you with some good resources to farm and maybe help you a little bit so if you guys are still not subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe for the future conan exile tutorial thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video